Okay, welcome to Fragments. We're going to go over this example, which I modified slightly from class. The basic idea here is we have two layouts, one of which is in portrait and contains a single fragment within this frame layout. This is the fragment it contains. And a landscape layout, which contains the same fragment, same title, but also another frame layout. We're going to put a fragment in this frame layout, and this is the details frame layout. And we saw this trick in class, the layout width is 0 and the weight is 3. Layout width is 0 and the weight is 1, so this is going to be 1 fourth, and this is going to be 2, 3, three quarters. One, 1 fourth, 3 quarters because it's all in this linear layout, which by default is, by, is horizontal. This, the fragment is alone. So what's slightly weird about this example is the main activity is uh, very bare bones. And most of the sort of control happens in the titles fragment. And that is uh, a little unusual. Um, but there's sort of a good reason to do it that way. As I tried to rewrite this, doing most of the logic in the main activity, and it got a little out of hand. So uh, here we go through the titles fragment, which is a list fragment. It is a list view. I got rid of this dual pane thing. Uh, I just have the current position. And um, this little uh, function to see whether we're in, we're, we are in landscape. And this, actually, this is uh, correct. Sometimes this can return orientation square. So, but that, that's okay. So if it's orientation square, we're not in landscape. That's a, a fine thing. So this fragment in, is being created in on activity created where we have access to the activity. We went through this in class. I'm gonna, not going to go over it very much. We do a standard array adapter here using the superhero names, and we set our list adapter, and um, we are pretty good to go. Shoot, no, we don't need this. I thought I got rid of that. Um, okay, if uh, we had, um, yeah, so so this is the, this is the sort of real um, initialization. And then here we're saying, hey, if we were rotated, uh, get my um, uh, position from my bundle. And down here, we're saving the position in our bundle. So every time we get a screen orientation change, we're going to save who's the current index, and we're going to restore it. And that's whether we are in portrait or landscape. Okay, so so far so good. And now we just say, hey, if we're in landscape, we have to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to set this choice mode on the list view to a choice mode single. And what that means is a, our uh, selected item in the list view is going to be highlighted. We are going to want that in landscape mode. We're not going to want that in portrait mode. It would be sort of weird and distracting if the uh, when you are in portrait mode, if you click on Wonder Woman, um, if that got highlighted, I mean, it's, it's okay that you see that little um, click. So if we're in landscape mode, uh, get into the single choice mode, and then also show the details, which is actually going to show the, um, the details fragment. If we're in portrait mode, this is not going to show the details fragment. If we're in portrait mode, the only thing that's going to show the details fragment is this an on item click listener. So here we're in portrait mode. There you get a click. And now this is a details fragment. Okay, well it's, it's happens in show details. Okay. Um, the other thing we need when we resume from a rotation is we need to um, uh, set the, uh, 
the list view um, with our current position. Uh, otherwise, uh, we might have a different uh, current hero and that item, the stale one, would be checked. So we need a callback for that. All right, let's, let's look at show details because that's where a lot of the action is. If, I, you know, if we've done everything but that. Show details. Let's skip right away to portrait mode because portrait mode is very straightforward. In portrait mode, we're going to create a new intent. This intent is going to overwrite the screen and it's going to run the uh, details activity, which is basically a wrapper around details fragment. The parameter we're sending is the index, which is the hero index. And then details activity is going to look into the hero index and display the details for that hero. And then we're going to start the activity. We're not even starting activity for result. We don't care about the result. So what this is doing is it's looking very much like an explicit intent. Create an intent. The intent uh, fills up the whole screen. And we go back. Okay. If we were in landscape mode, we have to do something a little bit different. So first of all, we check to make sure that the item is high, that the proper item is highlighted. Why do we have to do this here if we already did it here? Well, this only happens when you resume, and this can happen if you click a different item. So you actually have to do it in both places. A little confusing. Again, here I've clicked Aquaman, Aqu Aquaman, Aqu Aqu I've, I've clicked the Martian Manhunter, and then I need to show the details for the Martian Manhunter, including checking him. Here I had the Martian Manhunter selected, and then I need to make sure that I uh, display this. Or maybe the last time I was in landscape mode, Well, <laughs> for a second there, I was like, oh. Okay, so I'm in, I'm in uh, landscape mode. I've got Green Lantern um, selected. I go back. Okay, and then I select Wonder Woman. I go back. Wonder Woman is still um, the current hero. All right, sorry about the lag here. And see, Wonder Woman is selected. All right, the last time I was in... Um, uh, landscape mode, Green Lantern was selected, so I need to update that. I need to update it in both places. That's the update here, which happens on resume, and the update here, which happens in show detail, which happens when you do the on-click listener and when you're initialized. Okay, so I'm going to remember uh, where I am. I think... Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, if I'm in landscape mode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to check the guy. I just said that. Then I'm going to get the details fragment. I'm in landscape mode. What's the details fragment? Details fragment is this guy. This frame layout. So it's a little bit weird because it's a frame layout. It's not a fragment. But you can put a fragment in a frame layout. So I'm going to grab the details fragment. Now, um, if details is null, I mean, that is going to be pretty weird because we're in landscape mode and, um, oh, no, we might not have created it. Sorry. No, so it's, it's, not, it's not weird that it would be null. The first time through, it would totally be null. Uh, another time through, it might not be null, but it might be stale. So again, um, here I am right now. Wonder Woman is the details fragment. Okay. But now Green Arrow is the details fragment. So when I go back to landscape, it better be Green Arrow, not Wonder Woman. I need to make sure that the details fragment I have actually has the right index. So I have a, a way of um, querying the index. And sort of the way to think about this is the details fragment um, 
it's created for a specific hero index. So we need to recreate it if we have the wrong hero index. That might be sort of silly. We could maybe just call a method to get it to update its, um, to set its text to some new text, but that would be a different design. Okay, then uh, in order to construct a details fragment, we're actually calling this factory method, new instance, and we're passing it an index. Then we're doing the standard dance that we always do. We get the fragment manager, begin a transaction, do something. Replace is a good one because it just means, you know, get rid of anything old and put me in there. Uh, set the transition so it fades out. Ooh, sweet. And, uh, and commit. So the only thing that's uh, sort of interesting here is this um, factory method. So let's take a look at that. Now what this factory method is doing is it's going to call the default constructor and it's going to create a bundle and it's going to put this this parameter which is an integer index into the bundle using put int into the bundle and then it's calling this thing called set arguments on detail fragment and what that's going to allow us to do is it gives uh the fragment access to the arguments because remember the arguments are associated with the intent which is associated with the activity so here we're actually doing our, our own new in order that we can attach the arguments and that's why you use a static constructor for fragments um, you still need the default constructor sorry a static um, factory method but we use the factory method in order to package up the arguments to the fragment and call this set arguments routine. This get shown index calls get arguments. This is a little bit like get and set tag, right? It's a, a way of associating a little bit of uh, extra state with an object. In this case, the object is the fragment. Here we set the argument. Here we get the arguments and we get the index. That's the default value in case it's not set. So this says, hey, um, what was the index I was started with? And then, you know, there's this very standard thing going on in, in on create view. And, and really, you know, we could very simply create a, a little text view and return that. We do this thing, you know, set, set the text and return that. We do something that's a little fancier just to show you it can be done. We uh, create a scroll view, we create a text view. We actually define some padding in uh, you know device independent pixels, which is pretty cool. The padding of eight. We set the padding on the text view. We add the text view to the scroller. Uh, we set the text on the text view and we return the scroller. Okay, so that's all that happens in the detail fragment. It's a fragment, but it's quite a simple fragment. Now the um, details activity is a simple wrapper around that. So let's, let's look, let's look down here because down here, remember now we're in activity. We were started with an intent. So we, we could get the integer out of that intent and call the factory method on details fragment. That is would totally work, but it's fairly inefficient because we would be <coughs> creating another bundle where we already, we were just past the bundle. So instead what we're doing is we are calling the default constructor for the details fragment and we are setting the arguments ourselves. That's okay because we're the details activity. We have pretty intimate knowledge of the details fragment. So we're calling set arguments here and then we're calling get fragment manager begin transaction. And then there's this uh, funny thing, android.r.id.content, which is actually the root view. Okay, and that's that's um, in 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 this case, um, we don't have we don't have a name for the the root view the the root the the, the frame layout that we're in, or the uh, or the linear layout that we're in. Although actually, I guess in this case it's going to be uh, it's going to be this frame layout because it's a portrait. So we don't. Uh, we can give this sort of abstract name, uh, android.r.id.content. I was going to uh, 
I, I added some comments on an earlier version that got deleted, but I will add this here, and this is the version I will check in. Okay, so this should be fairly straightforward. This thing actually confused the heck out of me, and um, it's checking to see if we're in landscape mode, and if it's in landscape mode, it's finishing, which I just thought was weird because we wouldn't start it if we were in landscape mode. But what what it's doing is this. It's, it's actually, it's finishing a different, um, it's finishing a different fragment. Sorry, it's finishing a different activity. So what it's what it's doing is this. Okay, I'm in uh, portrait mode. This guy will catch up. Uh, click on the flash. This is a details activity. And if I now um, get into landscape mode, there is a details activity that would cover the entire screen. There is also now a titles fragment and another details fragment. So the details activity would cover the entire screen and it would cover the details fragment. We don't want that. That's why this thing has to die. Okay, it's killing itself when it, uh, you know, when it already exists in portrait mode. In portrait mode, this details activity needs to die. And, and you notice I'm, I'm not doing back or anything. I'm just changing orientation. Changing orientation doesn't actually kill it, it just um, stops it, has the runtime stop it, and then restart it. And so when it restarts, it says, hey, I am in landscape mode. I was created and I was in portrait mode, so I just need to kill myself. I don't need to return any uh, status or anything. Okay, so hopefully that is now clear. And that's it. So again, what makes this... Um, I think a little bit hard to follow is the idea that the titles fragment is doing this extra work. It's it's creating this array adapter. It's doing this extra logic uh, for display. Uh, and yes, that is uh, that is a little bit confusing. And y you could uh, factor this logic into main activity and have titles fragment and details fragment be simpler. But uh, that would be a that would be a different demo. And uh, things change somewhat significantly because what's uh, what's nice about this is the way the uh, system reacts to orientation change, it knows what the proper layout is, and this same fragment is sort of uh, mapped into both layouts, you know, without sort of any effort from us. And if uh, we do things in the main activity, we either, uh, again, need these different layouts or we need to then create them dynamically. If, if you wanted to, um, say, keep this as your layout and put in the different fragments, then you'd have to embed the fragments in a linear layout uh, in your program, and that's um, uglier. Okay, so I hope you uh, now understand uh, fragments better.